Hey good people, how are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed my previous video, which I don't know, somehow by coincidence, me and my Jeremy's videos always come out in the same day, same hour. I don't know why, I don't plan for it, I didn't know he was gonna upload. But thanks to some of the subscribers for, you know, letting me know that. And uh, I always enjoy Jeremy's work, right? He is, he is God in the community, right? So I done that, you know, I'm just sometimes, you know, I told you before this, this fragrance game, it works as a therapy for me. So I do this not just for you guys, I do it for myself. Uh, I was not feeling very well. I'm not feeling that well, actually, to be honest. I have a BP, I'm taking medication, high blood pressure and uh, I'm feeling a little bit chest pain and whatnot, but never mind. I think the work will make me feel better. So this, as you can see from the title, it's going to be the Armaf. So you must have noticed I've stopped buying Armaf fragrances lately. Not that many Armaf fragrances pop up. The reason being, I think I'm done with collecting Armaf fragrances. Only fragrances from Armaf line I'd like to try right now. I think maybe some new ones, like upper uh, tier ones and uh, the Lux line maybe but mostly the niche line so i have two niche one is the i think okay never mind what is the one so there's a wood one so few so the thing before i show you this top 10 list my absolute favorite and today trust me like unlike the previous arm of video i'm gonna actually show you ranking which one do i prefer the most in terms of smell and the performance everything is not counted just the smell itself how it make me feel and why they're special from all the way from 10 to 1 and this is just my opinion you guys can definitely uh you know have differ in your opinion and uh let me know what are your top five top ten whatever and another thing about armoff uh respect to armoff house for giving me especially me i will say thanks because i cannot afford so many of these niche fragrances that like pegasus aventus at one time you know nowadays maybe i can some of them but there's there are times you know i had the feel of Aventus from the house of Armov. So that's just huge paying that much a fraction of a price. So kudos to Armov. So you guys need to know like Armov, not all of their fragrances are that great. Most of them uh, are usually okay, the ones I tried. Another thing you need to know is Armov, many of the fragrances, they smell alike. There's like twisted here and there. And then there are like thousands of copies of Blue de Chanel or uh, uh, Fierce. So yes, you do put your nose and try the fragrances before buying. So I recommend from myself, the ones I buy are the unique ones. And my reason to buy them are I get absolute quality, not exactly the same quality as the original fragrances, but the ones they cloned. Yeah, I get, for me, I'm very happy with them. So here we go with the list. And this is the last time I'm gonna do the arm of top 10 because I don't have any more arm of new one in my collection, all right? So I'll start off with a honorary mention, like honorable mention, not honorary. This fragrance actually, it's still, I'm studying, I'm trying to grasp the idea. And this is actually going to the honorable mention for one reason. That is, I still don't get the concept of it. Maybe during the next winter, I will understand everything about it. But this is such a unique fragrance, which is why it's an honorable mention. This is Craze from the Lux line by Armoff. This fragrance is a copy of uh, Pegasus by Perfumes de Marley. So I never smell the Perfumes de Marley. I think one of my brothers in the community has it in Bangladesh. So I'll smell it, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. And I have to put my nose, so I cannot say how exactly similar they are. But I think, <clears throat> excuse me, Brother Sheros from Pakistan, my good brother, he told me they smell very close. So yes, respect to this craze fragrance. And I did my review, you can check out in the review, all right? Really nice pair, very beautiful fragrance, and nice sort of bottle presentation as well, all right? Very niche sort of. And then Arma Fusion is a niche house, all right? Okay, so that's out of the way. So let's try. Um, 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 um. Did I put them right in the order, in the right order? Okay. Now I have to do one switch because I changed my mind on one fragrance. All right. Or two. Let's say two. I'm not that professional. <laughs> all right. Now I think I got them sorted. Yes, I'm happy about them now. All right. So as you guys know, before I start, one last thing. I have about 23 to 24. I'm not sure how many I bought arm off, but I did buy a lot of them. And uh, out of those 23, 24 odd, I've chosen 10. That is not easy. It was not an easy task, all right? So bear that in mind. It was a tough job. At the same time, it was, uh, for me, <sighs> this is my ultimate. I'm not going to change my mind, all right? So number 10, let's start with the fragrance. This bottle, you're going to see much more of the similar design later on. This fragrance is called Club Denui by Armaf for Women. 
not the intense, the one regular one. And this is not for men, this is for women. Very beautiful sort of heavy bottle and you can see the name. So the reason for this, this is a clone of uh, I think Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle, uh, the EDT or EDP, I don't know. But this is based exactly on that rose note, very lovely rose note. But the reason for me to love this over the Chanel original one, because the Chanel one and the dry down gets so floral, so strong, so pungent. So this is where Armov one, they are less complicated. The dry down is much better. You, you can wear it, it's wearable in the summer days also, but it's better, you know. If you wear this in the evening, a little bit cooler weather, all right? So this is beautiful looking juice, pinkish sort of peach colored juice. And ladies can wear it. If you're a metrosexual man, you can give it a try. But you'd love to smell this on your woman, all right? So yeah, number 10, I'll go with Armov Club Dinui women, all right? Omen. And the thing is, another thing about this bottle, I probably tell you, all these bottles, they give you 105 ml juice instead of 100 ml. So that's a very handy feature, all right? You get the 5 ml extra juice. So next one, it's a fragrance I really love. This fragrance, I, I decant my bottles. This fragrance, many of my subscribers and my friends took it and they loved it. This is very dark, mysterious, and this is a clone of Bulgari's Jasmine Noir Extreme. I didn't write down my notes. I hope I remember all of them. And this is called Arm of Hunter for women. So this is not the men's version. The men's version, it's much more fruitier and fresher, but this is dark, I get jasmine, I get the florals, I get sort of like patchouli, all these dark, dark notes, you know. When you open it, it smells different from many of your fragrances. It doesn't, doesn't smell like at all, at all your run in the meal fragrance, all right? For the price you pay, you cannot ask for a better performer as well. This one performs on me as well. So I think it's pretty much unisex. Guys can wear it if you are a little bit open minded, all right? So Arma Funter for women. Very dark, sweet floral mysterious fragrance for the colder weather mostly and nighttime very very posh fragrance all right next one it got down from the love because i wore a lot of it i think i got tired my nose got tired maybe in future i'll change my mind but this fragrance is a copy of dolce and gabbana poof Fem, the legendary fragrance all right and this is actually edp i think and uh, it's beautiful looking bottle as well this is arm of italiano donna all right, I don't know anyone reviewed it. I think my juice level is somewhere in the middle. Since I decanted a lot of it, I'm not decanting anymore. So this is this is just a very nice presentation. The leather feel, it feels like a lady's purse. The smell of this is, those who don't know Dolce & Gabbana Perfume or this one. This one has a chocolatey, you know, chocolatey vibe. It has like, a, again, cooler weather, a bit heavy, very long lasting fragrance. This is one of my longest lasting fragrance in my whole collection, all right? The thing about this fragrance is this is mostly for ladies, but those guys, again, if you love your metrosexual fragrances, La Nuit de l'Homme, if you love, what does this remind me of? It has elements like of some men's fragrances, which is a little bit on the floral side, a little bit on the, you know, softer yet strong. I don't know. All right. This fragrance projects like a beast. You just need that one spray. All right. That's where this one shines. Very good performer. All right. So this one is Italiano Donna, very, very nice posh fragrance, all right? All right, so number 10, 9, 8, 7. This fragrance, next one, is a clone of Terre d'Hermes. So I did a comparison and I told between all the clones, this is the EDP version clone. But right now I see, yes, the strength of it is actually stronger than Terre d'Hermes, but it has a little bit powdery touch, which Terre d'Hermes don't have. That's the difference between Terre d'Hermes and this one, the Clubhouse Belmont, all right? This bottle is actually very pretty. Sorry about the fingerprints, all right? This is like whiskey bottle, old, very posh whiskey bottle, and they've got smoke glass at the back. So you definitely get a very quality juice. It is a little bit pricier than the usual arm offs. And then it has a, the tag with a leather touch. And then the cap is very, very heavy. This is metal. And the sprayer is really good. So the smell of this is actually, if you love Teodermes, you're gonna love the smell of this. This is very beautiful orange base scent. And it's very, very, very close to Terre d'Hermes. So if you don't have the buck to buy Terre d'Hermes, which is a little bit pricey, $70 and what, this is a very excellent, excellent replacement. So Derby Clubhouse, Belmont. So the next one, this is actually shock so many, this is gonna shock a lot of people. This is number six, I think, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, yes. This fragrance, I love this fragrance. This is, this is, this fragrance stops me to go and buy Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And you guys know what it is. This is Trenui. Uh, 
very amazing looking bottle very nice posh uh, leather and then there's a metal plate here the cap is a little bit loose on mine i don't know why and a little bit magnetic but it's not very securely placed it's arm of logo up top this one gives me vibes of green ash to it it's not exactly green ash to it it doesn't have that quality but this is a sweeter version more safer version of green ash to it and there are a lot of other fragrances arm of house they took elements from this fragrance and then tweaked it a little bit here and there namely something else like edition one has vibes of that all right this one but this is so beautiful i wear this uh oh so pretty so beautiful this is perfect scent to wear in the rainy days all right so train we look into this this is excellent juice if you don't have the money to buy git but you love git all right so train we so the next five is gonna be big eaters and then i'll start with the summer one this fragrance from the niche niche side all right this juice is not exactly the same as YSL Loam. I talked about it recently in the summer list. But this juice, those who haven't smelled it, if you have the access, go and try this. If you love the smell of Loam, if you ask me, should I blind buy? You should never ever blind buy anything. But this is very safe. This is done very safe. And if you smell your Sauvage and your Blood and you're tired of it, look into Arm of Niche Platinum. That's all I'm going to say. This is fruity at best. This is summer and spring excellent juice for office this is going to make you the most handsome man ever if you love edition blanche by chanel this is another fragrance you will like this one doesn't have that powdery effect this is very fruity stays very fresh fruity light and lasts long time on me so go with four or five sprays it will last you a very nice looking presentation the whole packaging is very nice all right so arm of niche platinum last four i'll start with another um fragrance that is a copy of tom ford noir de noir and you guys know already which this is this is something when i got it i got very excited i did an initial never did a full review i did the i think i'll do the full review during the winter time this is another similar looking bottle as the number 10 club Dinui intense women this fragrance guys who this is heavy heater this is a beautiful fragrance and this fragrance actually is for people who are already a couple of years mature in the fragrance game then you can appreciate this i don't wear I wouldn't dare wearing this in the summertime. This is a strictly winter scent, but the rose, the saffron, the oud, and um, what else? I think there's, I forgot the notes breakdown, but mainly rose, oud, and saffron. These are the three notes that keeps me captivated. I haven't smelled the original Noir de Noir, but very beast mode projection and longevity from this. I get easily winter time, eight, nine, 10 hours from this with two sprays, all right? So if you love Tom Ford line, you can appreciate this. Club Dinui intense women and very beautiful bottle all right so next one is a copy of one of my most favorite fragrance of all time this is why it made it that high up in the list and this fragrance i'll tell you if you love dior Homme line if you love valentine umo line but you cannot afford to pay the price go for it no worries i'll say this is very close to dior Homme, dior Homme intense this is futura la Homme, all right futura la Homme. Futura La Home, yes, and this EDP concentration. Very beautiful bottle, once again. Very heavy, and see the curves on this, all right? It's not actually flat. So this one actually has an, in, I think, intense version, but I haven't smelled that. But every time I smell this, this one reminds me of the good things of Diorom, Diorom Intense. You can wear this, actually, it's light. You can wear this in the summer. So that's why this shines. It's very versatile. And winter time, you're going to get very good performance from this. So Futura La Home by armaf is my number three so number two <clears throat> i have only two left so this is this was tough i couldn't pick number one and two but i in the end i had to do it because something has to come now number one and uh, number two is actually my last armaf that i bought so those who don't follow my channel this is shade suit this is thanks to brother nikhil all right he is the one who made me go nuts for this i searched for this for a very long time and the wait was well worth it i found only one bottle this is discontinued this is an older collection from our mouth okay this is something in the same category as the old winter time fragrance very heavy heater and then this is not going to be loved by many this is just my personal preference this fragrance is definitely it's like so pretty <sighs> The incense, the leather, the chocolate, the wood, the rose, every single thing is so mature in this. This is a mature fragrance. Ladies can wear this alike, but you just need that one spray. Don't overspray with this. I, 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 I kid you not. This fragrance 
is also very woody, woodsy, all right, on dry down. So you're going to smell very heavy. If you like heavy fragrances, try to find this fragrance. This is a very beautiful bottle as well. Only problem is the, the, the this atomizer here is a bit cheaply made, so the pink comes off. So you can put some Vaseline or something to protect it. I don't know, I do it. So it, it works better now, you know, it securely places. So this is my number two, Shades Wood. And this is, I think, a copy of uh, uh, Rose Wood, I think, by Killian. I think that's the fragrance. This is copy two. So I will try to, I would love to sniff that original someday. All right, so number two. So number one, you guys all know what it is. <laughs> it didn't pop up anywhere in the number whole list. It's very easy. This is Club Dinu Intense Men. And I have also, I always show this side by side. Why I show this? Because when I couldn't find this bottle anywhere in Bangladesh, after me hyping it, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I found this body spray and it has a little bit left. I use it as a room air freshener. This fragrance gave me the feel of Aventus. This is why I still love this can, all right? So if you want to smell like Aventus, the cheapest way possible is this. This one is, I think, how much? 350 taka in Bangladesh. I don't know how much is it in overseas. But this fragrance, guys, many people don't like it because it's a bit harsh on the opening. This is how it's supposed to be built, all right? You need to give it time. Don't sell it away like if you don't like it in the first few days. Watch out for that dry down. And if you don't like it in summer, wait till the winter. If you still don't like it, then you give it away. This fragrance is amazing, guys. It's the smoky batch Aventus, best clone ever that I sniffed. So there are a lot of other Laventure, Popster, this and that. But this one I love because I get the smoky Aventus feel, which is the ultimate magic. Oh, nothing beats this fragrance, guys. Nothing beats this fragrance. This is my number one arm off. Always gonna be number one arm off unless I smell something spectacular over this. All right, so Club Dino Intense, man. So there you go, my top 10 arm off fragrances. And I'm sorry it's a bit longer video, but those who are, didn't watch my previous videos, I hope this helps them. All right. And uh, take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Um, try to stay healthy. Drink a lot of water. Avoid sugar during Ramadan, during fasting month. And try to not to eat too so much after you're breaking your fast. It will make you feel very sick. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh.